Let's get to work. Hello. I'm glad that someone could see me. Not a problem. Now, to begin with... Um, I'm sorry, Doctor, but I have to attend an important business deal soon. Is it possible to keep this as quick as you can, please? Well, I wasn't planning on wasting time. Roni, are you ready? Yes, Doctor. All right. Let's start the diagnosis. What do you got to say? I think it's just a cold. Can you prescribe me something so I can get back to work? <clears throat> you can't? Oh dear. This isn't good. I've got a meeting soon. Um, I've had a fever for a while and it won't go away. Chronic fever? That's not right. A continuous fever, huh? Perhaps... Hmm. Excuse me. But are you married? Um, Doctor, is that relevant to my illness? Well, there's no direct relevance. But a woman's body temperature increases during pregnancy. We see a lot of women who think it's a fever. Oh! <laughs> well, thank you for thinking about that. Nope, you don't have to worry about that. I'm totally concentrating on my job now. I see. Then let's make a note of this, Ronnie. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Fever. I've also lost some weight, but I think it's just because of the fever. Weight loss. Whether this is a symptom or not depends on how much you lost. So, what was your original weight, and what is it now? Um, I don't really want to mention how much. Okay, you don't have to be specific. Ballpark it. Mm, well, it seems like a lot. Like, it's more than should be natural. I see. I appreciate your cooperation. Roni, jot that down. Wouldn't they be able to get uh, the patient's weight from her charts? Besides that, um, I've been having night sweats, but that might be the fever too. Night sweats, huh? Dysautonomia is the first thing to come to mind, but... Hmm. You've been busy with work, right? Does it stress you out? Stress? <laughs> That's a good one, Doctor. I love my job. <laughs> You're a strange one. If I had my pick, I'd be sitting on my couch all day. <laughs> New symptom observed. Night sweats. Sheesh, enough already. You're starting to sound like my wife. I can't think of anything other than those. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't trying to hide this or anything. But I had an operation two months ago. It wasn't at this hospital. What for? I had some kidney trouble and received a transplant. There's some odd bruises around the scar from the operation. It's strange. I made sure to take the medication they gave me, too. But that's it, really. See? It's just a cold, right? You said something about bruises? Uh, you know what? Let's take a look at those. I've it? also besides Where's that, that scar? I can't <clears throat> Oh, but I had an, I had some kidney trouble. There's some odd bru bruises around the operation scar? That worries me a little. Could you tell me in detail where they are and what they look like? Oh, yes, of course. The scar from the transplant healed cleanly, so there isn't much of it left. But there are these black bruise-like things around where it was. I'll need to look at it in detail. Would you mind showing me later? Yes, if you need to see it for the examination, I understand. Abnormalities around the operation scar, huh? Well, let's see them.
don't see anything wrong there. It's true there are dark red pigment spots around the operation scar. Did these exist before the kidney transplant? No, I'm sure of it. I'd have noticed if those were there before. Did you show these to your doctor? What did he say about them? This is the first time I've seen a doctor since the operation. I've been so busy at work that I couldn't keep any appointments. I see. Then this needs to be examined. Roni, I'll need a scintigraphy and a biopsy done. Understood, doctor. Since biopsies are done in the pathology department, it will take some time. Is this acceptable? If it's not in our department, I can't tell them to do it right away. Just let me know when the results come back, Roni. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Pigment spots. Also, the scintigraphy is ready. Alright. That was quick. Let's take a look at said scintigraphy. I know. I came here to check them. Only one image, good. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a look at these two images myself. Um... So, I'm going to figure out what the difference is between them. Okay, this one can be a little bit difficult to find if you're on a smaller screen. Uh, but there's a bit of an uptake in her abdomen right about here. So, the uptake of thallium matches the pigment spots on the skin. There's a good chance the pigment spots are tumors. We should review our diagnosis candidates. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal uptake into pigment spots. That wasn't too bad. It's just a little bit hard to see. Now, let's see what we got here. Fever, joint pain, does not have joint pain, okay. Influenza, why would she have the flu? No, it's not that. Sarcoma. It's probably not that either. Malignant melanoma. No, it wouldn't be that. I don't think this is right. Because there's no joint pain. Let's take a look at this. Symmetrical. It's not symmetrical. What could this possibly be? Let's just take a look at this again. Maybe it is this.
pigment spots. Oh, this might be it. Maybe, we'll see. It could be Kaposi sarcoma. Fever, weight loss, night sweats. It could very well be Kaposi sarcoma. All our symptoms apply to it, but. Doctor, are you concerned about something? No way Kaposi sarcoma occurs unless there was an extreme decrease in the immune system. If we don't solve that portion, it's impossible to make a diagnosis. I feel like it's right there in front of me. Roni, do you remember anything that might help? Negative, Doctor. I record only pertinent facts in my memory. Would you like to change this setting so that I record every detail of the diagnosis? No, let's not. I feel like I'd be cutting off all my escape routes if I did that. Well, ha. I think it's time to listen to what the patient has to say. Medications. Didn't she mention something about medications? I think she mentioned something about um, medications a bit earlier. Sorry to keep you waiting when you're so busy. How are you feeling? Nothing much has changed in particular. Um, is this going to take long? Mm, don't get so hasty. It's going to take a little more time until you're diagnosed. I see. Um, I've got a meeting soon, though. I think okay, let's go back through here. here. Um, I've also lost... Besides that, I can't think... <clears throat> oh, but I had an operation two months ago. It wasn't at this hospital. I had some kidney trouble and received a transplant. There's some odd bruises around. It's strange. I made sure to take the medication they gave me, too. Oh, yeah. The medication prescribed after the kidney transplant. Hey, I'm sorry, but can I confirm something? You were given immunosuppressive drugs, right? Um, yes. Isn't that something normal to take after an organ transplant? Yeah, that's right. But that's something we need to know in making a diagnosis. Now, everything depends on the results of your biopsy. But that's it, really. Dr. Cunningham, the biopsy results have come back from the pathology department. Finally. How Good. The antibody reaction was positive, but they failed to specify the virus causing the disease. They failed to specify the virus? What in the world are they doing? The reason is unknown, Doctor. Shall I explain the 1,874 patterns of conjectures in regards to it? No, thank you. No, that's all right. It shouldn't be a problem to make a diagnosis. Roni, let's go back to the office. Time to narrow down our possible candidates. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Positive antibody reaction. So this... Pretty much confirms that she does have Kaposi sarcoma, but we need to know why. Because just like Roni has said, Kaposi so, sarcoma is uh, diagnosis time. Kaposi sarcoma is an underlying disease of an underlying disease in AIDS. So it is Kaposi sarcoma. But why? The period of time until the onset is too short. It's similar to Kaposi sarcoma. This is something else. Doctor, we have an urgent contact. Please head immediately to the examination. The patient has come to the hospital complaining of abdominal pains. All right, I'm on my way. Stomach pain. What on earth is going on? Doctor, these may be related to the tumors discovered before. <sighs> Great. Roni, you ready? Yes, Doctor. Commence diagnosis when you are ready. All right. Reserve an OR just in case. 
Let's begin. Understood. That's a good idea, Gabe. But we're gonna save the second part of this diagnosis for next time on Let's Play Trauma Team.